Hello and good afternoon from London. This is the, the day we've been waiting for, US election happening later. And you can see uh, just in the headline section below, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. We'll be covering the election live throughout the night here. Uh, so it'll be a, a good one, you don't want to miss out. Just having a look over then some levels. Uh, of course, the fundamentals are going to rule tonight, but it's important still to be aware of uh, some key points in the market where things could really gather momentum. And I've got gold up here and there's a nice trend line that really started if we go back here to the middle of August, 18th of August, and you can see that's uh, been in play for the last few months. You've got a solid area support, 1850. For me, the, the trade here really kicks on once we get above that trend line or back below 1850. The last three days, we have been pushing higher. Decision time couldn't come at a, a better, better moment right on uh, that trend line pretty much as we speak. Elsewhere, focus is going to be, of course, on US equities. The S&P started well yesterday, pulled back into the afternoon before pushing on. We're now into that key zone, which we talked about yesterday, 33.29 to 56, massive decision point. You've got the low just a bit above where we're trading from the 26th of October, 33.56 there. That should, in theory, offer a bit of resistance. But that said, if it hits it before uh, the election really gets into full swing, who knows what's going to happen. I think you're going to have people sitting on the sidelines uh, until we really get into the thick of it later. To the upside, 3,400, very key, really going back here to the 9th of September. Once we broke, we then pushed on, almost made a new all-time high. It then offered an area of support for a period of a week, two weeks before breaking down last week. And then the 27th of October, which of course was uh, this time last week, great opportunity on the pullback and that sent us lower all the way down to almost 3200 the market is looking at that point there if we finish uh, the evening above that you know i would uh, would say we're very likely to continue on if we do end the day back below 3300 3200 will obviously be a point where people start to look at you can see here going back to the middle to end of july very important level area of support one two three four five six seven days uh, in a couple of weeks back then uh, so 3181 should be the focus there same sort of levels across the board for, for the nasdaq which you can see is pushing higher this uh, today and the dow as well uh, in just having a look at those levels from this time last week offering solid resistance quick look over at currencies have a quick look at the euro today we did hit some really key support in both euro and cable yesterday you can see that the bounce from then has, has been pretty strong uh, however the technicals acting well today the low that we had from the 28th is then the high of today it's a line in the sand that i'd be looking at but it's also been respected even back in uh, the third of august as well so the market's looking at that if we are to finish uh, and close nicely above that 117.29 i think 118 would be an area that it could be drawn towards so keep a watch on that i said yesterday if we break the 116 uh, handle uh, or the low of yesterday we should now call it just be aware of that high of the 9th of march which capped the upside uh, when corona virus was in full swing back in in march or the first sort of time of it and then below there there 115 is going to be a point where people will look at uh, let's have a quick look over at cable mention that hit a very key level support as well and you can see the reaction very similar to euro there um one two three four five six times it's tried to get below it couldn't uh, and we've really pushed higher and actually uh, as of speaking right now we are on the 130 handle which has been so key for cable going back to really the end of july you can see just from a line in the sand when we're above we can push on and, and below acts as a solid area of resistance where we finish the week is obviously going to be very important uh, as well as tonight uh, on any done of strength or weakness it's set up nicely um, be aware of the technical levels keep the risk as tight as you can uh, would be my advice it's about to get interesting <laughs> 